I'm at the Schumacher Farm Park and it's harvest time. They have a 1920s grain binder and they're going to use that for harvesting oats. I'm going to highlight how they harvested oat back in the 1920s plus a little bit on how the thing operates. This binder cuts, gathers, and binds the oats into bundles for drying. The bundles are then gathered into stacks for drying before threshing, or properly said, they're shocking the bundles. They'll sit out here for several days to dry, and then at the Schumacher Harvest Festival, they'll be run through the threshing machine, separating the oats from the stalk and the husk. Binders were primarily pulled by horses back into the, in the 20s. Today we're using a tractor. It's much easier to find a tractor to pull than it is to find horses that are trained. The binder is operated by a bull wheel as it's pulled forward. A sickle bar cuts the oats and a canvas bed carries the oats back to the binding mechanism. The mechanics are fascinating to watch. So this has been a day at the Schumacher Farm Park where they were cutting binding, shocking, and now drying out all the oats that will be used for the annual harvest fest in a few weeks. Make sure to stop by in early September for the annual harvest fest. This is how they did it back in the 20s and 30s.